Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. Also turn on post notifications. I would like to give a special thanks to South Day Toyota for giving me time with the 2023 Toyota Camry SE Nightshade package. If you guys are on the market for a Toyota, be sure to check out South Day Toyota and ask for Tony. He will get you into a new or pre-owned vehicle. But today's video, I want to know is the SE worth getting but let's talk about pricing here for the se nightshade package starting price is twenty eight thousand four hundred and eighty five dollars this one stickers for thirty five thousand eight hundred and fifty three dollars but let's talk about the front styling of the camry se with the nightshade package let's talk about the exterior styling here for the 23 toyota camry se with the nightshade package as you guys can see my model is painted in this beautiful shade of reservoir blue it is finished with these bronze finished wheels we'll talk about the wheels once we get to the side profile looking at the front fascia here of the camry there is no exterior changes here for this current generation toyota made those changes for 2021 so the toyota camry still soldiers on until the next generation looking at these headlights here they're going to be an led projector headlight with an incandescent turn signal this does have the honeycomb finished grille here as you guys can see really nice pattern and sadly there is no led fault lights you guys can do a dealer installed led fault light or you guys can go to the aftermarket there's this gloss black finish trim here at the lower part of the uh, front lip splitter looking here at the toyota logo this does house the driver's assistance tag you guys know toyota is really good with their uh, driver's assistance stuff but looking at the side profile here this has a 111.2 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 192.7 so good proportions here in the mid-size sedan segment as you guys know this vehicle does compete against the kia k5 the hyundai sonata also the honda accord so every vehicle in this in that segment is around the same size also with a longer wheelbase for certain model for certain uh vehicles but as you guys can see here these are a 235 40 tire they're wrapped in this 19 inch run design like i mentioned bronze finished wheels they remind me of the wheels that's on the trd but toyota just basically finished it with a bronze paint here it looks nice with the reservoir blue as you guys can see there's a brake caliper there which toyota would offer maybe like a black a black painted caliper or even a red painted caliper look nice so if you guys are looking for an aftermarket in a sense vehicle from a manufacturer toyota basically didn't disappoint here with the se with the nightshade package there's this led sight marker here on the mirror cap also with this gloss paint this gloss painted mirror cap here and there's some gloss black trim around the window trim and sadly there's no panoramic sunroof here on the se model but making our way to the rear of the camera here looking at these taillights going to be an led combination with an led brake light incandescent turn signal and reverse light that's the blacked out se badge this area right here is not functional just there for design purposes but it does look nice like a teardrop effect there's the toyota logo also with the camera name which is blacked out and down here as you guys can see the rear diffuser does look a little bit aggressive there's also dual tip exhaust open up the cargo back here once i open it up it reveals 15.1 cubic feet of space so plenty of space it's not the biggest in the segment but it is nice that toyota still offers a very large trunk area and underneath the load floor here toyota does give you a temporary spare tire instead of a fix and flat kit sitting in the interior of the se nightshade as you guys can see this cabin is very simple it does offer some decent materials in this vehicle but keep in mind this is the se with the nightshade uh, package here but richard i'm going to shut the door of the toyota camry talk about the materials really quickly it's going to be a soft touch ejection molded plastic with this aluminum finished door handle there's some aluminum trim here the switch gear feels really nice in here there's your lock control mirror controls are here always for your automatic high beam switch traction control your trunk release and your fuel uh, cap opener here there's a little bit of storage uh there i'm not going to talk too much about the interior because i did show you guys a camry camry very recently here but we're going to be very brief with this interior as you guys can see once the vehicle starts up there is this small helper screen here it does display camry in the center uh, area there oh you got it. also there is these analog gauges here on the left and right side the stern wheel does have this nice high quality leather here the airbag cover houses the toyota logo over this rear drives assistance tech your volume volume and voice controls are here the materials on the dashboard are going to be a soft touch ejection mode to plastic this is a seven inch display i'm pretty sure if you guys go for the hybrid model you probably could get a nine inch display or maybe an eight inch display but this is the lower screen level because once again this is the se trim level with the uh, nightshade package on it there are some shortcut buttons off to the side there's a volume and tune knob your evidence i hear your hazard button this also has dual climate control which i'm surprised to see i was thinking that it would have single zone climate control but it does 
that is nice that Toyota does offer uh, dual climate control here on the SE model. Put in the vehicle into reverse. There's your backup camera there. There is different angles also, which is very surprising. There's a wide angle. This also has real cross traffic alert. Put in the vehicle into drive over to the left. There's a sport mode in the transmission. There's eight different gears to go through. As you guys can see, there is two cup holders here. There's an eco mode, normal, sport. A uh, pretty decent storage compartment here. My iPhone 13 Pro Max uh, kind of fits there, but you can press, uh, move it like that. And it does reveal this deep center storage area here. And as you can see, there's some high gloss black trim. For 2021, Toyota basically took the infotainment system out of the dash. And now they have like this floating tablet style here, which I kind of like this design compared to the non-refresh model. There's paddle shifters here on the wheel. There's the wind wiper stock, the headlight headlight and turn signal stock is there the seats in here they're supportive and comfortable they're a nice um soft tex uh, leather uh finish which is really nice they have this uh cloth insert in the middle above me that's going to be led lights there's no panoramic sunroof here but you guys can't get that if you guys go for a different trim level there's an sos button here looking at the glove compartment it does offer a good amount of storage in there there's also some nice materials here on the dashboard with some more nice stitching the center armrest is going to be nice and padded open it up it does reveal a good amount of storage in there there's a usb-c also with the usb-a and there's this high gloss uh gray finish trim here it doesn't leave fingerprint fingerprints which is really nice but overall the interior of the camry se doesn't disappoint but if you guys are looking for more high grade tech a bigger screen and whatnot you have to look at a different model but you will not be able to get the nice finished wheels also with this beautiful reservoir blue paint Opening the rear door of the Toyota Camry here, as you guys can see, the door opens at a good angle so you can access the back seat. As you guys can see, plenty of space to put your family back here in this mid-size sedan segment. As you guys see, the materials here are going to be hard-touch plastic. There's like this bronze-like finish here. It looks bronze, but, but it's still like a high-gloss black uh, trim. The door handle here is going to be aluminum finish with more of that aluminum finish trim here on the door panel. This area is going to be uh, padded. There's some cup holder space down here, but getting back here, really good stepping height with this vehicle. This also has around 38 inches of rear legroom space. There is two mat pockets for storage. You also get some storage uh, compartments here. There's no USB charging ports. There's this hump here. It doesn't intrude into the middle passenger space, but you can't fit three people across in comfort. Above me, there is no panoramic sunroof. You guys can't get that on a different trim level, but the lighting is going to be an incandescent. Putting this armrest down here, it does reveal two cup holders. Let's talk about the powertrain specs here for the Camry SE Nightshade. This is Toyota's base powertrain. It's a 2.5 liter four cylinder. It's a naturally aspirated powertrain. This powertrain makes 203 horsepower and 184 pounds feet of torque. It is paired with an eight speed automatic transmission as the Camry SE Nightshade sits here sits here it weighs in around 3300 pounds but making our way to the fuel door let's talk about fuel economy here you guys can go for a hybrid nightshade uh, se model if you guys don't want the base powertrain that would get over 40 miles per gallon this gets 28 in the city 39 on the highway and 32 combined so driving the 2023 toyota camry se with the nightshade i actually like the blue reservoir exterior color also with these brawn uh matte finish wheels they look really nice they're the same uh rims off the camry trd what it look, that what it looks like to, uh, to me toyota will offer this vehicle with two powertrains here in the toyota family also with the hybrid so basically it's going to be three powertrains in a sense um let's talk about the 3.5 liter naturally aspirated uh v6 that powertrain makes 301 horsepower and around 276 pound feet of torque it's a good powertrain very liable very bulletproof powertrain but unfortunately, we don't have that one underneath the hood here of the uh, SE Nightshade. This one is Toyota's base powertrain. It's a 2.5 liter four cylinder. This powertrain makes 203 horsepower and 183 uh, pound feet of torque. It is paired with an eight speed automatic transmission. The ride quality of this vehicle rides really good, even with these 19 inch wheels here. You guys can go for a hybrid SE Nightshade, which which uh, which that vehicle will get over 40 miles per gallon, of course. This vehicle is ready to get 28 in the city, 39 on the highway, and 32 combined. So still good fuel efficiency here, but if you guys want better fuel economy, I would recommend going for the uh, hybrid uh, model of the SE Nightshade. The visibility out of this vehicle is great. You also have this low dash, good large uh, windows here to see out of this vehicle. This does have blind spot monitoring, forward closure warning, rear cross traffic alert, also lane keeping assist with adaptive cruise control. Some other competitors only offer the tech that Toyota offers, which is kind of odd that you're paying 
uh, that amount of money for the other competitors. And Toyota's just giving, to, giving you the driver's assistance tech as standard, which is just super impressive. Some other competitors you have to pay basically an arm and a leg to get you know that as standard. I'm talking about Honda. You have to go for a top trim in order to get some of the nicer uh, driver's assistance tech. Um, one thing I'm gonna say about this vehicle here is the infotainment system. I was told I wish Toyota would offer like their eight inch displays instead of the seven inch display. It's a very small screen, but if you guys don't want the nightshade package in general, you guys can go for a larger nine inch display, which, you know, that does have a little bit better um, graphic look to it instead of this fuzzy like look. Um, but that's just a small nitpick for me. Uh, my iPhone 13 Pro Max kind of fits in this uh, phone area down here, but there's some storage underneath there. The uh, eight-speed automatic is a good transmission pair with this powertrain. Um, I don't feel no clunkiness. It is very smooth to shift. Um, you do get some drive modes here, which is eco, normal, and sport. But I just like the nightshade in a sense because it's like an, a tuner's car in a sense or like an aftermarket vehicle that is offered from the manufacturer because look at the wheels, guys. The bronze finished wheels, the beautiful uh, exterior paint. It's basically a car that you guys would probably do aftermarket, but Toyota just gives it to you as a package. And that's what I think I like about Toyota. They're being a little different in a sense. Some other competitors probably wouldn't even think like that. Um, the materials in here, they're pretty decent. Like I mentioned, this is the SE model, so I'm not gonna expect you know premium like features like on the top uh, SE model. I mean the XSE model, which will give you a little bit more uh, premium features and whatnot. But this vehicle does drive good. Let's put it into its eco mode here. And let's just basically cruise along. The exhaust kind of simmer down once it's out of its normal mode and whatnot. But it is very smooth in this car. The steering feel is very playful. You can feel what the front tires are doing. And this vehicle weighs around uh, 33 to 3,400 pounds. So gee, in a sense, it's kind of uh, light in a sense. But keep in mind, all Camrys still remain front wheel drive. You can get all wheel drive as an additional option. In certain trim levels you can't get it in the v6 sadly toyota does not want to give you the v6 with all wheel drive maybe they should do a limited uh run with that and see if the sales will help but me personally i think the v6 really does need you know all wheel drive because it does a very bad burnout in the front because it is feeding over 301 horsepower to the front wheels which is kind of overwhelming uh to the tires and whatnot maybe you guys put some stickier summer tires on it it probably wouldn't you know leave as much uh, uh marks in the road but just driving here, this vehicle drives good. Like I mentioned, the powertrain is, you know, compliant, does offer adequate power. Um, but if you guys want more power, you have to go for the th uh, 3.5 liter uh, V6, which is a naturally aspirated powertrain, if you guys want to get a little bit more horsepower and more torque. After spending time with the 2023 Toyota Camry SE Nightshade package here, the question I asked in the beginning of the video is a nightshade worth getting? And the simple answer for me is going to be yes, because it does offer this beautiful exterior paint, also with these beautiful finished wheels. If you guys are looking for a aftermarket built car in a sense from the manufacturer, Toyota does not disappoint with the nightshade package. Like I mentioned, beautiful exterior paint, also beautiful finished wheels. With that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at drive on reviews hit that subscribe button also turn on post notifications and i will see you all in the next video